So this is Stella the Umbrella before her makeover. Basically, our project is to have LEDs light up when pressure from rain hits Stella. And so first, to, in order to make this, you're going to need 24 LEDs, and that's three per panel. There are eight panels. Um, next, you're going to need some 10 ohm resistors, eight of them, each one in series with our LED strings. After that, you're going to want some piezo discs, and these convert pressure to voltage, and this will light up our LEDs. And so you're, you're going to need eight of them. And then you want to have resistors in parallel with the piezos, um, so that's eight 1 mega ohm resistors. After that, you want an Arduino Uno microcontroller. So we wrote this program that reads pressure on the piezos and sends current to the LED strings. And in order to power our Arduino, we want a 9 volt battery. Also, since the Arduino only has 6 analog pins, and we want 8 input and outputs, so we need 2 multiplexer demultiplexers, and we're going to use the 405 one. And finally, you're going to need tons of wire. Okay, so now that we have all our materials, we want to put it together and make sure that it works. First, we designed a mock-up just using a couple breadboards to make sure that our code worked with our 405 ones, and we plugged in two strings of LEDs and two piezo discs. After we got our LEDs to light up, we decided that all these wires were kind of messy, so using Eagle software, we designed and printed our own circuit board, which looks so much nicer and is so much easier to handle. After this, we spent a ton of time soldering all of our components together, and then we tested our LED strings once they were soldered to our printed circuit board, and just cycled through them to make sure they all lit up, which they did, which is awesome. Now it's time to put it all together. So you're going to have to do a lot of hot gluing and a lot of duct taping. And you should also make sure that the wires don't tangle. Also be sure to place the correct LEDs and piezos on the same panels. Next, you're going to want to use a lot of electric tape to cover bare wires so that they don't touch and do weird things. And you're also going to want to place your Arduino in a plastic bag to make it as waterproof as possible. And so now you're done, and if you can close your umbrella, then you deserve a shiny gold star. So this is a demonstration of our umbrella lighting up when we put pressure on the different panels. And this is a demonstration of our umbrella lighting up when we actually pour water on it from above, and it works extremely well, and our threshold that we set for when the lights to light up seems to work perfectly because the panel that lights up is directly the one that's getting hit by the water. So this is really awesome, and if you make it to this step, go out and enjoy your umbrella in the rain. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feel, and I'm happy again.